Hello everyone, in this video we are taking a look at Mule self-destruction on live. We just wanted to see what we can destroy and we wanted to have some fun. Thank you again very much Flickr for all the help. You can draw some conclusions from those tests but don't take them too seriously because Star Citizen in year 10 still has a very bad damage model. We have damage pipes that are piping damage to other sections but some of those damage pipes are dead ends and sometimes damage is getting piped to a totally different section. For example, we had Mule and Hovercourt exploding under the nose, under the cockpit of a Starfarer, but Starfarer took damage at its rear top. Same with Andromeda, Hovercourt exploding under the cockpit, but Andromeda took damage in its top nacelles in the rear. Yeah, damage piping is very bad. Also C890. 890 front takes damage, turns red, and then this section is blocking any further damage and is not piping the damage to other areas of the ship. Let's get started! Let's start with damage radius, 103 meters. Okay, explosion was a little bit strange, but I am fine. And now 97 meters. Okay, still fine. 80 meters. Okay, somewhere between 80 and 97 meters is a damage radius, which is very large. For example, a size 5 torpedo has a few meters, I think, 5 meters only. Okay, I think we should be far enough away. This doesn't look like less damage. Oh, I took damage. I took 44% damage right now. Okay, my leg is injured. Okay, it's gotten dark now, but this is a Valkyrie. Okay, Flicker, fire when ready. Okay, I don't think damage is nerfed. I got one comment on my trick video today. Someone wrote, the mule does less damage on life. This doesn't look like less damage. And this is the fastest I can go with a minus three leg injury. This is total destruction and there isn't much left. We might be off and one of the mules will be exploding first. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, we have to get to around 100 meter distance. A bit more. Okay, that's good. Two mules. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay did we get two explosions? But I expected a bit more. Maybe we have to try it inside. No, she is, she is damaged. Look here, she is in a damaged state. You have warning lights and you have smoke. So she took damage. Yeah, she surely took a lot of damage. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a damaged state. Okay. Yeah, look here, she took a lot of damage. And again, it's a damage model. Both mules were around here. But front is red and rear is red. Yeah, so much for damage model. It's not very good in year 10, but CRG will improve this, I hope. <laughs> so she took a lot of damage. Oh, Flicker is already in Argo Cargo. Okay, Karak is at 43.93, so Karak lost more than half her half. 
Now we have a mule on the main elevator. Flicker is starting self-destruction. Then Flicker will get the lift up and tries to run to safety. Okay, Flicker, fire when ready. Okay, self-destruction started. Okay, now main elevator is going up. <laughs> I am curious. Okay, not total destruction, but she lost some engines. Yeah, this doesn't mean that she is a tough ship. It's just the damage model is not really done yet. Okay, we are inside. Andromeda is in a damaged state. You can see warning lights and sparks. Let's take a look at self status. Self status. Okay, we don't have MFDs. We don't have MFDs. She is turned on. No MFDs. So I would say we most likely cannot fly anymore. Engines are on. I try to lift off. No, nothing. So she is not destroyed, but she is unusable. No MFDs, no engines, and we <laughs> lost the Merlin. There's a canopy. I will, for sure, do a lot more tests with the mule. I hope you had fun watching this and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, good job. And you can see uh, ships have no mass. <laughs> Flicker, what have you done? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Camoral underscore SC.